questions I get asked most often about my writing is, why do you write romance? But, not exactly in that tone. It's usually more like, why do you write romance? Or, occasionally it gets rearranged into something slightly more hopeful, like, do you think you'll branch out into other genres? Hello there everyone, I'm Emily Harris, author of Steamy Historical Romances, and today I'm addressing the taboo which is the romance genre, and sharing with you my views on writing romance. On my blog a while back, I wrote a post about my top three reasons for writing romance. But today, I wanted to go into a bit more depth on some of the struggles romance authors face and why I believe the genre is far more important than one might think. To begin with, let's take a look at the connotations of this question. The tones I receive with it indicate the general low regard in which the romance genre is held by many people. Romance has always been the, thank goodness for e-readers, I don't have to hide my books in public anymore genre. Readers and writers of romance alike are stigmatized as being immoral and low-minded with their thoughts forever in the gutter. And yet, of the 12 articles I reviewed in preparing for this video, Romance came out as the number one most popular genre in six of them, and number two in another two, including Forbes. Of the remainders, Romance still ranked within the top ten, and the main distinguishing factor of the lower rank in these last articles was that they were not looking at most popular for readers, but for publishers. Publishers focus on profit, and since romances are often priced cheaper than other genres, it would make sense that it would not be a publisher's first pick. One of the articles also mentioned only looking at print sales, which would account for romance going MIA in that article since reference my thank goodness for e-readers remark, upwards of 50% of romance sales are electronic. What all of this indicates to me is that there is a severe disconnect between what society at large deems good and correct and what we as human beings need in our lives. We are social creatures and we are loving, caring beings. We want, need, and desire close, intimate relationships with others, whether that intimacy is physical or not. I believe people read romance for two main reasons. Either they feel a lack of love and intimacy in their lives and want to fill the void, or they have experienced and or are experiencing great fulfilling love and want to perpetuate that in the entertainment they consume. And, by the way, in case I haven't been clear on this, books like Fifty Shades of Grey are not representative of the romance genre as a whole. Romance runs the gamut from sweet and innocent love to outright graphic erotica and everything in between. I personally have no qualms with either reading or writing detailed bedroom scenes in books. Physical intimacy is a natural part of loving relationships, and in this day and age, name me one romance book or film which doesn't at the very least have a strong romantic thread or a hint at sex. And yet somehow, the physical side of attraction is not villainized within these other contexts. I write romance because the world very obviously needs love. We crave it. 
the sales numbers of romantic books and movies prove that. When I think about what my purpose in life is, I have far too many interests to defin definitively peg myself to one standard profession. But I always come back around to this word of love. I've been fascinated with it my entire life and feel strongly that it's what I have to give, whether directly to my family and friends or indirectly through my stories. Would I ever write in another genre? Sure, why not? Storytelling is a gift I've also enjoyed my entire life and like love, it is infinite, capped only by the number of years I end up with on this earth. So, I hope I've explained a little bit better why I feel compelled to write romances. And I'm going to wrap up with just one more point which is very important to me. And that is, I refuse to allow society to shame me for writing romance. My genre does not in any way define my personal morals. I write under a pen name not to hide, but because my actual name is long and difficult to both pronounce and spell, making it therefore difficult to search for. Many romance authors are not equally at ease. I've known authors who have to hide their names and faces because there is significant threat of losing their careers or damaging a spouse's career if their writing is connected to them. I know others who have had to gain written permission from their jobs to pursue publishing. This should not be the case. Please don't judge an author based on assumptions about a genre because there is light and dark in anything and no one should be marginalized for feeling compelled to share the topics others are afraid to. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to receive notifications of future videos. Until then, happy reading.